In this episode of HNN, we look into the New Zealand flag debate. Jimmy gives us the information about the Hamilton Haka competition. Manny interviews former New Zealand women's rugby captain Melissa Roscoe, plus Sport and Council News. Welcome to Hamilton Network News. I'm Jesse. And I'm Jimmy. First up, we have the nationwide debate about the new flag. Dylan Knight says the details. John Key wants to change the New Zealand flag into something completely different. We ask ordinary people what they think. No, I don't think we should. I like um, what the flag stands for. I um, like its symbolism and I like the history that comes with it as well. I think we should change the flag. This is my favourite. Um, I think it's reasonable to think about changing the flag. I think we should uh, change it to something that's culturally sensitive, so it shouldn't have black in it. But other than that, I don't really mind, but we should get rid of the Union Jack. I don't think we should change the flag, but you could end up with something random like this. But the flag should be left as it is. I don't want to change the flag, but if we had to, I'd choose this one. So there you have it. What do you think? Wow, so many different opinions. Next up is the Interhouse Packer competition. In celebration of Māori Language Week, Hilmorton held a haka competition between the Fano houses. Every house gave it a great effort. The winning house was fire, second was earth, then water, and last but not least, air. All of the houses made a great effort. Wow, that was awesome. The star profile for this episode is Miss Roscoe. Maddie Knight says more. So, what inspired you to get into sport? Um, probably my parents and um, I come from a small town in Taranaki at a um, small school and so and my parents played a lot of sport when we were young so we always got dragged along to, to them playing sport and so I guess when you have role models that are doing it you kind of naturally go into it as well. How many sports have you played? I've represented New Zealand in three different three different codes and so that's rugby sevens, fifteens and football or soccer. What was it like playing the Women's Rugby World Cup as a player and the captain? Uh, different responsibilities at, at those World Cups. In two, 2006 was my first one and I was a player. Um, I started every game and, and yeah, so you're just con contributing as, as a player whereas in 2010 I was the, the captain and so you get that extra pressure of you're the boss um, when it comes to the field. So, and the fact that it was in England and we're playing England in the final, and there's a lot of media um, pressures as well. So I spent a day just with media doing interviews before the final and having to talk politely and be nice to the to the English captain who wasn't always very nice on the field. So um, it was quite different, and the biggest thing I actually felt was relief. Thank you so much for doing this interview with us today. Amazing. Did you know that Miss Roscoe is captain for New Zealand in three different sporting codes? And she's also a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit for her services to women's rugby. Wow. Coming up is Andre Bergen with the sports news. Welcome to Andre's sports desk, where I deliver you from women's sports news. Today we are bringing you the results of the final week of Yesedra Nat Hagley Sport. The football team were looking for their first win in Division 1 against Breams. They came close, only losing 4-0. Now to netball. The netball 18 played Chisner Wood for 7th and 8th place. Unfortunately, they lost 19-12. Netball B again looked for their first one of the season against Kirkwood. Their dream was realised as they beat Kirkwood 13-9. Now to the only year 7 and 8 finals placer, the league team. They played for the chance to be crowned champions of their 7 and 8 rugby league. They fought hard but they were unlucky, losing 28-16. Awesome, a lot of sports there. Now let's take a look at the Student Council news with Riley. Over to you. Hi, I'm Riley, and here's what's been happening at Student Council. Puffer jackets, should we be allowed them? Should we even be able to choose the colour? What do you think? Mufti Day. Discussion was around the, on the theme. Should we even have a theme? Profit. Who does the profit go to? Is there, should there even be profit? We can make it free. These are the things for you to think about. Thanks it from me for now. That's it for this episode. I'm Jesse. And I'm Jimmy. Look out for our next episode. Kakete See you next time.